So here's my aluminum cop. I just got it a couple days ago. And uh, I've been trying to get one for a while. Finally got one in stock online and uh, purchased it. It arrived a couple days ago. And uh, so far I've got to ride it once. And it's an awesome feeling bike. The bike just feels amazing. F especially for, you know, $230. I mean, it's it's really impressive for $230. Um, I've already done a couple mods. I found these grips at Walmart. They're Snafu branded. They're lock-ons. They feel great. I mean, they feel really nice. They're really tacky and kind of, I don't know, like a thin grip. I, I like that. I had this stem laying around, so I went ahead and put it on. I ordered it for a bike I had a while back, but never used it. So I went ahead and put that on. I got me a phone bag. Cause I want, I would like to do some bike packing stuff with this bike, and that's kind of my goal. I'd like to ride more and stress less. I had a an old aluminum seat post on another bike, so I just went and switched that over for a little bit of weight savings. I got me a bottle and a bottle cage. Um, everything else is stock on it for now. I've got a lot of parts coming for it. I've already got this. These are these were forty bucks, and you know I am so impressed with the quality of these. I got two sprockets. I was supposed to have got a thirty and a thirty-two tooth, but I got two thirty-twos, so I got I got a refund on one of them. So I got a new drivetrain coming for a one by setup. JG Bikes, JG Bike, your best value on bicycle part supplier. These cranks, man. These cranks are beautiful. For forty dollars, you get these cranks. Bolt onto the back. External bearing bottom bracket. Really nice uh, cross pattern for strength inside internally. Mount free sprocket. There's your external cut. Or external bearing bottom bracket. There's your crank arm. I think there's a tool in there too, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, there's some tools there. Let's see, there's a there's the bolts for the bottom bracket. Some Allen wrenches and uh I'm not really I guess that's to tighten up the sprocket. There's no there's no tool in there for the external bearing bottom bracket, but that's alright. I I got one of them coming too. So I got a one by setup going to go on it. Not really sure about the red or the black sprocket. Since everything else is been totally black, I might just throw the red on it for now and see what it, see what it looks like. These are also JG Bike Elite sprockets. Both of them are 32 tooth round. 32 tooth round. Single chain ring, JG Bike Elite, jgbike.com, 9, 10, 11, 12 speed. So both these are the same thing. So I'm not sure what, well, I'll probably throw the red one on there just to break the color up a little bit. I don't know, we'll see what we got when we get to other parts. So, um, I guess that indicates that I do have a one by setup coming for it. So I'll have to do something about the brakes. Because these puppies are going bye bye. This setup it works all right, but I don't I don't like it. Um, so I had these levers off of another bike that I had, so I went ahead and pulled them off. It was a pretty good. I had a pretty good set of brakes on it, but all I had left was the levers and and uh, cables. So I got these Avid Speed Dial tie brake levers so I'll be able to put those on there when I get the one by set up um, these are awesome they have an adjustable you uh, you kind of let's see if I can show this with one hand let's see you uh, move this screw this is an adjustable screw and it adjusts how much you see the thing moving in there it adjusts how much uh, cable you can pull, like how much strength you want in the cable. 
you, it goes like uh, the upper part, you know, you have more cable pull, and the lower part, you have more cable strength. So, those work better, than, those got to work better than the plastic ones that are on it. And I have these uh, Jaguar cables, these are linear, um, linear cables for the brakes. Let me see. They are Jaguar reinforced with Kevlar. They are linear brake cables. Got front and rear with a uh, coated brake cable. That they slide. They, I mean, they. This rear one's folded up a couple times, and it ain't nothing to push this in and out. I mean, it's. They. Those are really nice cables. So. Um, got the one by. Got a JG bike handlebar, JG bike stem coming. Uh, got some pedals. Got I got a set of hubs. I got a set of JG bike hubs that I'm gonna be putting on here for the cassette. I got those seem to be some really sweet hubs, so I'm pretty excited about lacing these wheels up. I'll video that and put that up on there, so you can got so you guys can see um, the wheels being laced up. Um, with those JG bike hubs that are convertible. You, they they work with through axle or they have the convertible to the quick release 9mm. So whenever I upgrade the fork, I can uh, go to a through axle and still use the same hub as I have with this fork. It's, I mean, it works pretty, it's pretty slick. So I, I got one front hub that'll work with all setups. With uh, It works with uh, 15100 or 15110 boost. It also works with a 9mm quick release, which is what I have now. But when I upgrade the fork, boom, I've already got the hub for it. Um, I just bought the set of hubs because I needed the cassette for the rear. So I got the cassette and the front hub. And I think they were only like 70 bucks for like 70 or 80 dollars for the pair. It's, you know, sealed bearings, four sealed bearings in the rear hub, two sealed bearings in the front. I mean, that I don't know how you can beat eighty dollars for that for convertible hubs. You know they work with three axles or they work with nine millimeter quick release. I mean, it's, it, they're they're awesome. So whenever I get those, I'll throw those on there. We'll go from there. I plan on upgrading the rims later down the road and the tires and a fork, and we'll see uh, how things go. Um, maybe we'll get some camping trips in on this thing. All right, that's all I have for now. Thank you. Um, excuse my shop. By the way, I have a woodworking shop. Well, my wife, me and my wife do this. My wife designs stuff, and I kind of make all the stuff. We make um, signs, like we make these frames and paint them, stain them, and etc. We can carve stuff like this. This was a, a test. So that's a that's a it's called an X carve. It's a pretty sweet machine. It's a CNC woodcutter, three axis CNC woodcutter. But that's the mess going on here. So, but here's my bike. I'm looking forward to recording this build and seeing uh, just how it turns out. I think. I think this bike can be pretty amazing. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Have a good day.